Why hello there guys, my name is Vanisho and today I'm just going to do a quick uh, tutorial on the cinematic transition I've done in a few of my edits and one of them being Imperious so I'll just show you it real quick. It's pretty easy, it's just the door opens and that will actually be the example I will show in this edit in this, in this tutorial sorry and then another one I used in this video is it's towards the end, it's like right here-ish just let me find it, okay right here and this one's a lot cooler and this one's a little bit more complicated but this is what it looks like and the door comes in and then it goes through and it's just like that so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that real quick so let me go ahead into After Effects and import the cinematic that I just recorded for you guys right here and you know what I'm going to put a, um, a download link in the description because a lot of people have been asking for stuff like that so I'll do that just for you guys so here we go, we've got, um, got this cinematic and I'm just going to go and make um, trim my work area here where it starts and I'm going to end it where the cinematic ends obviously so like right there-ish sweet and by the way if you hear any barking in the background it's my dog so yeah um, so basically what we're going to do there's two ways of doing this transition one of them is you can mask it out as it's moving another one what you can do is tr um, split the layer and you can freeze the frame and then just mask it and then just scale the frame which is a lot easier to do and that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do so first of all just split this okay then um, right click on it and go time freeze frame actually before you do that control C control Z hit shift 1 and then you want to go until it zooms in so it'll, the doors will be open-ish so right here is where the doors can be open so make a shift 2 there and then go back here and split it so now you just have a um, you know when you can put your keyframe just to end it okay so now we're just gonna go time freeze frame there we go so now what we're going to do is duplicate this layer uh, twice more and on the bottom one just go ahead and get your Q tool so your um, rectangle tool just go ahead and mask out that just like that quite simple and you could feather it to maybe one pixel nothing too fancy then on the this one so we're just going to call this empty door okay and then this one we're gonna go ahead and get our pen tool to be a little bit more exact and we're just gonna mask it here and I'm just trying to get a good angle of seeing this there nope it's way off oh sorry I'm really bad <laughs> today okay there we go and then down there and then down there just to fit the black lines just like that sweet and then that's not perfect I know it's not. Oopsies. It's no, it's, you know, it's not even close. But we're just gonna stick with that. So this one's gonna be called left door. Feather that to one pixel. Cool. And then lastly, we're gonna go here and just go ahead and try to find the points. That's not bad. It's really hard to see that. The black line is so thin. Okay, no, and then get your hand tool, zoom up, and then bam. Okay, so that's done. And I forgot one important step. Okay, one second. And that's to go here and go M and put that sit to subtract. Okay, cool. Now to set that to right door. Cool. And now we can start animating this effect. So first of all, I'm just going to make a new adjustment layer. I'm going to trim it. Go into effects and presets and type in transform. Okay, cool. And we're just going to scale it and leave it for now. Now on the left door, hit P for position, scale it. Right door, P for position and scale. Oh, sorry, not scale it, keyframe it. What am I talking about? Okay, cool. So now we can just go to the two marker. And for our left door, just. Um, there's no really way of telling if it's done or not unless you bring the empty door on top so you're gonna go like that and just go there sweet that's done okay then go to your right door and just drag it off okay now what you're gonna do is grab this and hold shift and grab that and then go to your graph editor and you're gonna zoom in first of all you're gonna make the actually first of all just easy use each of these so just F9 F9 and then 
then you could just do them individually. So here, what you can do is go like that. If you want it to go out really slowly, just like that, so that's good. Just goes bam. Just you know, more subtle. And then for this one, first of all, we have to grab our keyframe, bam, bam, and just try to replicate that. Doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. So that's good. Now we can just minimize the um, my keyframes there. Okay, cool. And we can zoom out. So now you can see that we got our perfect door. And we can just and what you want to do before you bring this into another composition, because um, you're gonna have your clip or your next cinematic underneath. Click that button. So now you have this empty space. Now what we're gonna do is on our transform. Oh, for, first go back to your one marker and key, keyframe the position as well. Now go here and scale this up. And you might need to readjust the position a little bit. You, you're probably not going to need to move the X position, but the Y one is definitely going to need to be moved a little bit. And just keep going until it's almost perfect. So then just, we, could, um, we could even drag these keyframes all the way to the end just to give it more length. Cool. And then just keep adjusting it until it is perfect. And yeah, see right here, we're going to need to move it a tiny bit just like that to keep it even and there we go we should be done now okay so if I just now we, we, you want to, uh, what you want to do is grab these keyframes go back to your graph editor oh first of all sorry you want to hit F9 then go to graph editor just make it more subtle just like that okay sweet so that's done now, if I just minimize my keyframes, I can go to the cinematic and just watch it play over. So it stays at the same speed. Actually, it goes a little bit, it goes much faster. So we're gonna need to go back and play for keyframes. Maybe not, yeah, that's why. It's because it's got that little hump. What's that about? Just uh, play with them a little bit. Yeah, just make it more subtle. Sorry, that was way way too non settle and just go like that perfect so now it should stay at a much more constant rate yeah there we go it's nicer and then it is done and what you can also do if you want if you have a smoke like a little smoke overlay you can just put smoke overlay to make it look like um um sometimes the doors I don't really know how to fix that one second Oh, what you gotta do is go hit MM and MM and MM. And for the mask expansion, not on these ones, on these ones, put them to two. Okay, and then what you gotta do for the empty door, put this to negative two. Just gotta keep adjusting that. There we go, now it's perfect. So that's a little much, maybe negative 10 will do the trick. Yeah, negative 34 wasn't necessary. Okay, so now it's done. Looks much better. And there we go, so that's really about it. Then what you wanna do is just say I have another clip. I'm just gonna use the same thing over again. But say I want my new clip. Um, let's just bring that back here. Then this is, uh, which one is it? This one, 48. Okay, just bring that into this cinematic right there. I'll just drag it over to save some time. Okay, so now what we can do, it zooms out and then there's the next clip and then it would just be, you know, just keep going over and over again if you really want to. But that's really about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And one last thing, I just wanna say thank you for 3,700 subscribers. I know I'm not gonna do anything special for that particular number, number sorry. But um, I just wanna say thank you for that. And I'm almost at 4K, so I'm actually going to do a contest at 4K. I know I said I was going to wait until 5K, but I'm feeling like doing one because they're, uh, they're good fun and uh, you guys seem to enjoy them. So thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.